you know, it, it's, it's amazing, like, look how long you're in the sport, and like, you know, it takes all that time, there's a lot of things to experience to be able to get through to these championships, be on the line on the day, not only be fit, but mentally in the right place, and sometimes you've got to go through the ups and downs in order to know. The yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's been a long time coming. What, but you know, but, so many ups and downs. But it, isn't that the best lesson? Now with so many people running fast so young, I think people are getting so disheartened so quickly. But like honestly, like if you can stay consistent and healthy and you keep your body trained, like like you can you can be performing at a high track level well into your thirties. I think it's good to have somebody like wise around you that you really respect. Yeah. So he was like, you're so good because it's gonna give you years on the end of your yeah. It's like you're running age. Yeah. It's going to be younger. And you haven't done that many miles. And like, it'll be alright. So, like, he always was there for the long game. Yeah. Like, even whenever he was my coach, he's like, this is going to come good in so many years. Yeah. Like, the training you're doing now, like, yeah, you want to run well right now. But, like, in four years' time, the accumulation of all these miles in the bank. Yeah. And, like, that's what I think last year was. Like, yeah. You don't have to be like... And like, how, 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 how was that, like, you know, when, we'll say when Steve decided to leave, like, was there kind of a anxiousness about that at first? Yeah, it was hard because none of us saw it coming. Okay, so yeah. Like, it was, it was certainly tough. And that was like, um, time. I think as well, the older you get, you realise you're, you're in partnership with people. Yeah, like yeah. You're a team. Yeah. So you're living and learning together. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you might not actually know 100%. No, no. I'm like, if you have faith that the person you're working with has your best interests and yeah. is going to do the absolute problems for you. And a lot of, a, a lot of, a lot of, you know, you know what's happening to you is your own learnings throughout the year and anyway like no matter you can have you know whoever is considered the best coach in the world it still doesn't mean that and if you're not developing your own mindset as an athlete and, and, and understanding of yourself yeah i think that's the biggest thing and you know what I'm happy. <laughs> yeah happy, sure uh, like happy. yeah I, I definitely say for a long time in the sport i wasn't happy yeah well even i was chatting with nikki hiltz yeah. after uh, the mile the other night and Nikki was saying like how just being happy has so much to do with it like because it's your energy it's yeah, it's that lightness right. or yeah and sometimes you're like oh what's the secret and you're like genuinely nothing changed yeah. nothing changed from last season to this season so I can't say we did like you know, like did you do any different training you're like no same training yeah same camps the same setup it's yeah. like just some really good place you're yeah yeah where you are with the team with your Personally, yeah, like, and going back, would you when you're like injured or that? Do you do like is do you hit the cross training hard? Yeah, on the bike. Okay, it, and you? Well, I was actually cross training a bit, and I was in the boot, but like on the bike cross training because I was told I was allowed to. It'd be different okay, if yeah. it was an injury. They were like, don't. Yeah. Do and, it if you're sick. And with cross training, do you try and kind of accumulate the same amount of time as you would be running, or what way do you kind of try to work yeah, it? Yes and no, because there's no way I would want to do 90 minutes. No, yeah. Like yeah. a Sunday, like I'd do yeah. 90 minutes. I've seen Jake Whiteman on the cross train for oh, two hours. He's busting it. Like, yeah. I'm not quite like that, but I'd split it. Okay, and, like, yeah. I might do a morning and evening thing, and I'll definitely do sessions. Because um, you can burn out. I think like cross training can. I remember listening to Paul Robin in an interview before, and he says like, you know, you think you can go in and hit it hard, but like you just get, although you're not getting the loading, you get so fatigued from it. But as well, I think people are making a mistake that whenever they're doing it, they like get super fit and they don't realize that like musculoskeletal wise, whenever you get back training, your cardiovascular system is so fit. But you also yeah. are not fit enough. You could risk in of injury. Yeah. Issues in the rest of your body. So, are you trying to kind of then load a bit in the gym as well with like, it? Yeah, constantly loading, but like I think there's a fine balance because you know yourself, you come out super fit from cross training, but you go back out, people are like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I've picked up another angle, it's like, yeah. you were able to train too hard. Yeah. Because you're. you're yeah, and and that's why I think people kind of get carried away. They like think they're fit and they can go out and smash it, but it's just it's not the same. And you you have to kind of you still have to kind of yeah yeah. Give the body its chance to. So for so for your your pre meet, you how how long of a run did you do there now? I did like my, just the usual. Like I'll do like a twenty minute warm up, and then I'll do the stretching and the drills, and then I'll go out and I'll do like usually something like two sixties and two two hundreds. Okay, do you do the sixties first? Yeah. So what's the idea of doing the 60s before the 200s? I try to get like, like my turn grip. Okay, yeah. And then kind of smoother running on yeah, the twos. Okay, yeah. Yeah, trying to switch on for, yeah. and that's usually, I tend to try to replicate what I do race-wise. So I do the same before a race, race but not day. two 200s before a race. Okay, like yeah. Just one. Yeah. And like, 
and like finish on a 200 this morning. And would you do the 200 kind of running at like what would be 1500 meter feel? My tens are just going to spike it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but, yeah like, but like you said there, I think it's true. It's like you can have your set agenda, but you still have to listen to the body. Oh, and like for me, whenever I'm warming up for a race, I'm like visualizing. Sometimes my body just does what it does. Yeah. Because I'm visualizing the race, it's like picking up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The energy is building. Like, that's yeah. Thing, man. Like, just, you want to be ready to go out and yeah. run as hard as you can. I remember at um, the Rio Olympics, the call room, the first call room for the first round was like, an absolute shambles. Like everybody's like, what are we doing? Yeah. Nobody knew. And then they were like, oh my god, you're meant to be in call room two. And they rushed us to call room two. Yeah. And then we were barely in call room two. And like, hadn't put your spikes on yet because you're like, you put your spikes on in call room two. So like, you're freaking hopping to yeah. the line. Like that can spike the heart rate so much. It's and so yeah. I I'm like, I tried to laugh. Yeah. That, would you go through your full like warm up routine before all workouts as well? Like. Um, yeah. 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 Not like. Yeah. I didn't work, work out on a Tuesday and a Friday, so like... Is it two sessions a week? Yeah. And then long run on a Sunday, is it? Long run yeah. on Sunday. I feel like standard. Yeah, yeah. Either Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Friday, we do Tuesday, Friday. Okay, yeah. lucky and don't have normal jobs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's good. And then you kind of kind of Saturday, do you take Saturdays your kind of easier day or...? No, Monday's our easy day. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's Monday easy day, Tuesday track. We don't do gym on track days, so then Wednesdays, double run and gym. Okay, yeah. And then one run Thursday, session Friday. And then double run, run and gym on Saturday. Okay, yeah. You're liking training in Manchester? I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's a lovely spot. You can visit a bit of a rarity in Europe to have yeah. a team set up. Oh, it is, yeah, yeah. And I mean, you're the only professional team set up, aren't you, in the UK? Yeah. But I think other people struggle with... It's only because New Balance did it and they put the money in. Yeah. That this is going to be a New Balance group because it's so hard to get individual single branded yeah. people. Yeah, 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 like yeah. That's, uh, so I just feel like we're super lucky yeah. to have that. Kind of like, yeah, has, the, has the team uh, changed over the years while you've been there? Like people leaving and oh, coming? Definitely, yeah. that's like, it's definitely a big, a big thing is like a team evolves okay, yeah, and changes yeah. and like some of them hit a lot harder. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm like, of course. Of course. Like yeah, yeah, team. yeah. But that's like, that's normal for anything. You're like yeah. a professional football team. So yeah. like, Nothing stays the same, so you kind of evolve, and then it's good. Like I do most of my training now with Hannah, Hannah not up. What are the uh, What are the new bands these spikes are like? Special spikes. Okay. Oh look at these. They're um. They're. Uh, they ain't replacing them. No, there's not. They're kind of embedded into the shoe. And the guys help me because I have a little bit of a. God, wow, they have a nice foam on them, don't yeah, they? Yeah, I have a little bit of a Highlands deformity. Oh, from the, is that the the bone spur yeah. thing? So they like put like if you can feel there, there's a little bit more padding in the back oh, of that nice. one than there. Oh no, I think people people have an opinion that like, God, you're like always flying. So and I, I think the longer you spend them, sport, you realise a lot of us are managing things. Yeah. Well, look, the main thing is is once you can keep running and you're progressing, you're running and whatever else is going on, then you can manage it. Yeah. We're all we're all a bunch of crocs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All a bit yeah. Short. They might look they might look like uh oh look. Unbelievable, like you know, machines that can't be uh, damaged out in the track. Fit, but sometimes not yeah. necessarily. But the, they are taped together. Yeah. <laughs>